Say hello to Bug. Bug is the answer to the question, what is the simplest, most straightforward robotic base I can create? With this goal in mind, I designed Bug to be as simple as possible from a 3D modeling, electronic sourcing, and coding perspective. In this video, I'm briefly going to go over the physical design, the electrical components, programming, assembly, and some of the testing of the functionality for anyone who wants to make a similar project at home. Here are all the components I'll be using for this build. For control, I have an Arduino Uno. Um, to interface the Uno with all these different peripherals, I have an Arduino Shield that allows me to plug in the motors and different sensors without the need of a breadboard. I have two of these 3 to 6 volt DC motors for driving the robot. Powering the entire thing, I have a two cell lithium polymer battery. I've also included a ultrasonic distance sensor that I'll be able to use for obstacle avoidance and an NRF 24L01 radio transceiver that I'll be using to remote control the robot with. After I've sourced all the components for a build, I like to start working on the CAD model I'll be using to 3D print the project. In my experience, this is best done with the components and a pair of calipers in front of you, so you can take measurements as you go to design around the components. Here you can see the features for mounting the Arduino, the motor, and the ping sensor. When printing these parts, I find it easier to break up the model into smaller prints to test the fit up between parts and more quickly iterate the design before printing the final version. For example, this drive wheel is designed to press fit onto the output shaft of the motor. I first printed just the hub of this wheel so I could fine tune the sizing of the press fit before printing the entire wheel. While I've designed for the bolts to thread straight into the plastic for mounting the Arduino, when mounting the lid, I decided to use threaded inserts so that the lid can be removed and replaced many times without having to worry about wearing out the threads. Since this model is being 3D printed, it's also important to be mindful of overhangs and avoid having to use support when possible. For these prints, no support is necessary because the cutouts for the USB port and power switch can be bridged easily since they're relatively small, and I've rounded the bottom of these overhang sections so they can be bridged as well. For the tread of the robot, I've decided to print it out of TPE so that it has better traction. I've modeled it here as a circle, but after it's printed, it can flex to fit around the wheels of the robot. While I wait for the models to print, I have some time to work on the program. Since I'm using an Arduino as the microcontroller, I'm also coding this project in the Arduino IDE. This is made really simple with the use of libraries, including this one for the Arduino shield I'm using, and another for the radio transceiver. All this program is really doing is taking the speed and direction commanded by the controller and translating that into the speed and direction of rotation for the motors. Now with all that out of the way, let's get on with the build. Throughout this video, I've been calling Bug a robotic base, when in reality it's just a DIY remote control car in its current form. The robotic applications for this project lie in the implementation of different sensors and actuators on top of this base to expand its functionality. To this end, I have designed the top of the robot to be easily removable and replaceable, so that I can design different modules to swap between in the future. Some examples of this include a camera mount on a tilt mechanism for remote monitoring, or the obvious option of a manipulator on the end of a robotic arm. 
If you have any other ideas for possible modules or attachments, please leave them in the comments so I can address them in a future video.